news has it that our president president tinobu is on his way to jamming you know for another spree of begging you know to continue begging investors to come and invest in the country while some are of the opinion that you know it's very good you know he's stepping out of his country he's going extra mile to attract investors some other people on the other hand are saying that you know you do not just go there and preach to them by mouth these investors want to see what you are capable of they want to see the situation in your country it's just like ants and sugar you know when you put sugar somewhere no matter what ants will surely go there because they know that there is sugar there so if your country is very good your country is is is, is very stable there's electricity good roads and all of that no matter what investors will come companies will come but we are at a very critical time in this country where instead of investors coming to the country to invest companies are folding up they are leaving the country instead we have pharmaceutical companies is it glass glasso smith just left the country recently and <laughs> since they left the prices of ampiclos and you know the likes that this company produce has gone up that is not even the reason why we are here today today serap is telling tenobo that look if you recover all the looted looted funds there will be no need for you to borrow which is very logical like instead of going to borrow funds you know to finance budgets why not make sure that you recover all the looted funds because if you go and borrow this borrowed money would also be looted as well if you recover the large sum of money that agf told you was missing there would be no need to borrow serap to tenobo the deputy director of the socio-economic rights and accountability project serap kolawoli uluwadari has called for the recovery of looted funds within the nation he insisted that if president bola Tinubu has the best interest of nigerians at heart, then he ought to demand the investigation of looted funds uluwadari made a submission during an interview with the punch according to him there will be no need to go about borrowing if the country is able to successively successfully recover looted funds he said and i quote the auditor general of a federation is appointed by the president and answers to him and he has produced a report that a huge amount of money cannot still be accounted for the only thing the president can do if he really has the interest of nigerians at heart is to ensure that this is investigated and the funds are recovered perhaps there may be no need to go about borrowing there will be no need to borrow if we recover most of the looted funds it raises the point about the abacha loot that we are still getting funds but what about the internally looted funds that can be recovered to help us finance critical aspects of our budget and also to ensure that we do not only recover the looted funds but ensure that they are not relooted and end up in pockets we need a proper administration that is keen on fighting corruption and delivering the promise for the welfare of the people this report from auditor general is a good pass to mop up these looted funds that are not even outside the country to ensure that we put them to best use for the interest of the people you all if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you are able to watch this video till these minutes why not just subscribe already because i know you're enjoying it that's why you're still watching please subscribe like this video as well leave your opinions in the comment section i respond to all of my comments before we go guys let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online god's way or haha says please let us understand that mr president does not have the qualifications to investigate any fraud 
or criminality in the country as per thief no fi catch thief abi <laughs> criminal cannot catch criminal udoka peace says how can a thief go after his fellow thieves when they know each other very well continue dreaming hmm a dear a doho says what of the alleged 3.4 billion dollars Ebefele gave to Dangote, we cannot have these amounts of money, then government still borrow. It is wrong. I did to Bosno Payemi says, if it's true there are money out of a system through corruption, then by all means, government should go after them. But who is ready to do that? Who is ready? The ideas that, that our government can do is to strike a bargain that is it you have stolen 100 million you have returned 50 million because they themselves they know that they are not righteous like who only pass <laughs> these people in governments they know that they have also they have also stolen money as well so who is going to catch who is it thief that will catch thief or criminal that will catch criminal mm -hmm. emmanuel agose says the unfortunate thing is that they recover to reloot again exactly we know how the first fund from the abacha loot that was returned during good luck jonathan's regime the money that they said they designated to buy hams we know how those money you know ended up in people's pockets how the money was relooted funds that have been looted and was returned back to the country maybe they would have used the money for you know good things they would have used it to you know construct roads do something good for the country but no these monies were relooted all over again and it's just a vicious circle it just keeps happening over and over again chiku D. james says tenobu all all year promises are fake there you go again that no student will drop out of school under your regime your promise of pump price of petrol to be at 100 naira per liter before august alpha this is october and you don't know what nigerians are going through since you enter there the same court that take bribe puts you is the same is same prosecuting a mefiele the Almighty God won't let you complete your tenor. You will see. Hey, may God help us. So you all, let me have your opinions in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done that. Like this video as well. I will see you all in my next video.